Hi guys, it's Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge. Usually I do fixed blades on Friday, but I just saw this. Uh, today is Tuesday. I just saw these on sale for $19.93 at Canadian Tire. They're normally, I think, $70 Canadian. So I don't know if that sale is ending because it's an in-store clearance. I don't know if it's on every Canadian Tire or just some in Alberta. But I want to tell you about these. I posted it on Facebook already. Uh, I want to let you know, I know that not everybody's going to watch this, but uh, I haven't been able to keep up with all the comments on all of the videos. I try to reply to every single comment, at least, at least every single comment, but I haven't been able to do all of that lately with all the bonus videos I've been making. But uh, I will try to keep up for sure. If you really need to contact me for something and you really want me to definitely respond, then you should email me. CanadianCuttingEdge at gmail.com. I will definitely answer all of my emails. We've got two knives in a leather sheath, a uh, clip point blade, and a drop point blade. Two little nice hunting knives for less than $20 Canadian. Real wood, brass bolsters, full tang. Yes, it's 440 stainless, you know, 440A, 440, same thing. So it's not the best steel, but hey, genuine leather, snaps, two knives, 20 bucks. I think this is a great deal if you've got somebody in your life who uh, might be a younger person who wants to get into hunting, they don't have a lot of stuff yet, or you just have a young guy in your life, young gal in your life who is getting into knives. These are a great choice because they can use these to learn how to take care of knives. If they mess up and wreck them, big deal. You didn't waste a lot of money. And that's how you learn, by making mistakes. So you want to learn to make your mistakes, uh, learn your skills on stuff that isn't too terribly expensive. It gives them two different styles to work with, although both are hollow grinds. For, you know, just under $20, these are good knives for beginners to learn or for somebody who's just on a super tight budget. There's a lot of us out there. Um, I'm on a, I live on a disability pension. If I didn't have people like Gearbest give me knives, I just wouldn't be able to afford them and uh, to do reviews and stuff. Other channels, other companies, you know, give me significant discounts. Uh, Canadian Tire, I pay for these myself. I bought these at a different point in time about five months ago when they were on sale for $20. And now they're finally on sale again, so I need to do this now. I was waiting for them to be on sale again and just oh, glad that they are. So uh, I'll bring it to the tabletop mode and we'll take a little closer look at these. It won't be a super intense video, but I'll give you a good idea of what these are, and then you can decide if you want to get them or not. They're only in Canada, but I'll make a deal. I think there's like three or four of these sets in my local Canadian Tire store. If you email me right now at CanadianCuttingEdge at gmail.com, uh, promise to pay me $25 Canadian for these, plus the shipping to you wherever you live. I'll buy them for you and ship them to you. Sounds like a good deal to me. I make $5 Canadian out of the deal. That's it. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm willing to do that for you guys. So now let's get to the tabletop mode. I didn't double check how hard uh, 440 is. I think it's got a Rockwell hardness of around 55 or something like that. Well, I'm trying something new. I've got the light from the uh, cell phone on as well. So we'll see how this video looks. Uh, genuine leather, not super leather. It's just genuine, decent leather. I like that they got snaps instead of, you know, Velcro. That's a really good thing. It can be a little tricky to, it can be a little tricky to take the back one out while the front one's in. But hey, that's often the case when you've got uh, multiple knives, um, you know, even just putting it in, the front one in when that's there, the snaps and stuff. Oh, well, it is what it is. But we got real wood. You've got pins in there. There's a lanyard hole in both of them. And uh, 
let me give you the dimensions of these things. The first dimension on the list is the drop point. The second dimension is the clip point. Uh, I'll give you just a screen in just a few seconds. You might want to hit pause to read all the different sizes that are in there. Okay, and the weight, uh, this one's 162 grams, 5.7 ounces, 119 grams, 4.15 ounces. All together, all three things, 351 grams, 12.4 ounces. So two thirds of a pound, not bad for all of this. $19.93. Like I said before, I think these are great for a young guy. I've sharpened these up on my TS Prof system. Um, there's no sharpener's choil on here, but it's a nice knife. If you're cutting on a table, you've got, you know, you can cut down on the surface pretty much with most of it. Uh, not quite right at the this end here, but pretty good. And then this guy too, whoops, this guy too, right to the handle right there. You can cut with that whole thing on the table or whatever surface. You know, I've sharpened them so that they are very sharp. <laughs> It's not hard to get 440 sharp, and uh, it takes an edge, but at the same time, it will lose its edge a little more quickly than some other steels uh, because it is a little bit softer. It's pretty thin uh, at 0.6 of a millimeter. That's 0 0.0235 of an inch. So 0.6 millimeters thick behind the grind, and that's really, really good for a knife like this, especially since it's a little bit softer. You can use it for doing some light whittling, you know, as long as it's softwood, not hardwood. Hardwood you might start to lose your edge a little bit. These are good little knives. Um, decent workmanship. You know, you see a, a little bit of a chip out right there on the wood. The other side's quite a bit nicer. This one doesn't have any of that problem on either one of them. So you're going to get a couple little flaws on them, but it's not that bad. You're just going to have to be careful. Uh, and 440 doesn't uh, corrode terribly easy, but it can corrode a little bit. It looks really, really good. These are nice knives. This one's a little bit fuller in the hand, but I've got large hands that border on extra large, and they still fit my hand okay. Um, you know, this one's just barely in my hand. Most young guys are going to have hands that are a little bit smaller than mine, and they're going to grow into these. Fairly decent stock here, 3.8 millimeters thick. Not bad at all. That is uh, 0.149 of an inch. I like these. I'm not going to go on and on forever about these. I think this is a very good deal if you fit the scenario that I talked about. It's a very good knife set at the sale price. The leather's done well. You know, it's not supreme, but it's done well. So there you go. That's all I'm going to say about these. I like them. They are a good buy. And I say to you, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting, sharing. And yes, if you do contact me, you have to do it today, basically, at CanadianCuttingEdge at gmail.com. I'm releasing this on Wednesday morning. November 22nd, I think it is. Uh, you have to contact me before the end of Thursday, Mountain Standard Time, and before they're all out of stock. You know, if they're out of stock, they're out of stock. If you're in, Can you're, if you're in Canada, you get them yourself, um, unless you just can't find them anywhere locally. I'm willing to do the same deal for you. Uh, but if you're in some other country, you can pay me through PayPal, and uh, that will be just great. So thanks again. Remember, always cut towards your chum and not your thumb.